Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video of like street photography point of view where you can just kind of chill out and watch and see how I get these photos. I am first straight away, straight to Waverly, started shooting and I was very quite quite happy with the fact I got two back to back ones like this. Very, very sly there off the, off the angle shot there. So anyway, um, as I was walking further down, heading towards Coburn Street, so this was actually in August when the fringe was on. So I was like, I surely can get a, a wild amount of photos. And yeah, I got this guy. I said I didn't want to get a photo of his face, um, but I really wanted the Scottish bag. That was the main thing that I was looking for. So my goal with the fringe was actually to photograph it without photographing a single performer because I thought hey that's going to be the easy thing that's going to be the thing everyone's going to do so I was trying to photograph everything else I really like this shot I don't know why I really like it the colours were strong and they were all just doing something a little bit different so anyway as I'm heading up the Royal Mile I'm just fiddling with my little uh, hook on the bottom of the camera I'm going to be doing that quite a lot because I think I'm listening to music I'm just kind of vibing don't know what song it was like this one as well just kind of a lot going on um, something that I realised, because this was also filmed a few months ago, I was trying to have my camera positioned in a way that you could see the screen easy enough on the GoPro. The problem is, a lot of the time you just can't see anything else, as you'll soon understand. Um, but yes, yeah, as we kind of go up towards Victoria Street here, just you can't really see anything. But you just got to trust me, I took a nice photo. The weather kept changing all day, so now we're in a bit of rainy rut. Uh, you can kind of see that in the edits of the photo. I've removed the kind of warmer uh, shadows and replaced it with colder shadows and put a bit more green into it, just to be like, hey, look, it's now a moodier day. Because you really got to pick the colors for the weather, you know? This timing was great. I liked the colorful umbrella, and then the guy next to her was like, I've got one too. I don't know why he sounds like that, but hey, look at this. As everyone's, oh yeah, it started really pouring here. I quite like that shot. Sand as well, I didn't plan for this day, is all my photos pretty much, I think all of them actually, are landscapes. So none of them are good for Instagram or TikTok or that, but here we are. And there was generally so much going on and I had an absolute blast. And I, I like that one as well. So just kind of walking up into the mouth. Very short video today. And there we go, playing with my little, little hooky bookie again. So yeah, as we're approaching like this big crowd, there was a guy up there taking photos, big bright red jacket. I'm like, yeah, perfect. Not only did I get one shot, the second shot didn't really work, but the timing of this one I was quite happy with was I was trying to get him getting photos and then this guy walks past and looks at me and I love it. I love it so much. That was a great photo. Anyway, further down the mile, I was hoping this person was gonna be able to stand out a bit more in the editing their jacket just kind of blended in it but they were like 10 feet away from everyone else just kind of isolated it's all right it's all right I, I was really hoping for it to be better and say i tried getting closer up but nothing really worked and now as i'm at this uh, crossroad at waverly um yeah you can see like i'm trying to show the footage but because it's it's, it's this blah, blah, blah. the sky is so bright it's hard to tell but i really like this one this family photo just a lot going on and I can relate with the dad sometimes. Now this photo I really kind of like, I don't know what the you would call it, it's not a juxtaposition, juxtaposition. I just like the fact that they're both photographing stuff but in complete opposite directions. I thought it was quite funny. Anyway, so heading up here towards Waverly again, like I say, a very short video, so well done for you if you have a short attention span, this, one's, this one goes out to you. I really like this woman taking photos, she was really proud of herself, absolute belter. I actually got a few other photos when I wasn't recording and I did like them so much that I did want to show you. So I was actually at the Edinburgh Museum and I got this photo and if you think it looks a bit odd it's because it's a double exposure about four times so you'll see the same people several times moving about in the photo and I really, it wasn't that busy but I really wanted to emphasise, hey this is busy. And as soon as I left, before I even got the GoPro on, I got this shot, the rain was starting, and I really like it. Just the kind of layers of the photo, some in the foreground, some in the background, they're doing something, the colour jacket. It's a, I quite like the photo. And then straight away after, there was a guy with a map. He, yeah, he just looked cool, just a proper tourist. I thought I'd get a wee photo of that, so I did. 
And then as I finish the walk, going into Waverley, because I don't like filming inside Waverley, there's this photo of the woman red jacket stood out by herself on this glare. Took a photo. I liked it so much that I took another one a bit closer. And I really liked the people's faces on the right hand side. And then as we got into Waverley, I took this photo. And compositionally, it could have been a bit cleaner, especially with like the people, like where they were, but I do quite like it. And again, I did another like multiple exposure, but it wasn't as steady, so you'll notice that there's like lots more lines in the ceilings and then on the railings. Uh, it is a mess, and I'll let you decide if you like it or not. That's what art is, it's all subjective. But yeah, thanks for watching this video, nice and short one. But in the meantime, I love yous and I leave yous, and if I have presets, there will be a link in the free presets, link in the bio. Hope you enjoy them.